Hey there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back. It's another Red Pill Religion podcast, Red Pill Religion, where we say many things, but one of the many things we say is you don't have to be religious. That doesn't mean you get to lie about history, science, and religious people. So please support on our work on redpillreligion.com, um, uh, where you will find that every day we are updating our site with uh, copies of our latest videos, uh, articles written by our, our, our staff and volunteers, articles by others, videos by articles that we enjoy. You'll also find our donation buttons. We take PayPal, Patreon, Bitcoin, and Maker Support. And yes, we could use your financial as well as your spiritual support in this uh, entirely unique effort in secular criticism of the atheist movement. Um, and do find us on pa Patreon at, Maker, uh, at get Red Pill Religion, Maker Support at Red Pill Religion, Gab at Red Pill Religion. Also find us on Facebook at Red Pill Religion. Also, just to give everybody, uh, uh, oh, I didn't have it, but on Sunday, uh, on, on Facebook, including in the Red Pill Religion Facebook group, we have an update on Dan Perrins, who's doing his walk to raise awareness for male suicide and related male uh, homelessness and other issues up there in Canada. He's walking, uh, he's almost to Toronto. He's hoping to be there by Sunday or Monday. We're going to have him on again on Sunday. Um, see where he's at. He's had some remarkable experiences. I've been putting on daily updates. Um, so, all right, everybody. So let's go ahead and, uh, and get started tonight. We are joined by our friend Albrecht, who's been on a few streams from uh, with us before. Albrecht from the Philippines. Say hi to everybody, Albrecht. Mabuhay. Ah, uh, yes, our, our our crazy Filipino friend. <laughs> See, that was racist, right? Am I racist? Are you going to report me for being racist now? <laughs> okay, and also joining us, uh, uh, we're show I think I'm showing his fabulous face in the corner there, Deflating Atheism, our old friend. Say hi, De Deflating. Hey, good to, good to see you guys. So this is more or less an open stream. Mr. Brass was going to join us, um, and, and, and he had a tweet war. Mr. Brass is is one of our one of the guys who's, who's with us all the time now. I don't know if we've officially yeah he is officially a moderator actually, so he's officially part of the team in, in in some capacity. He's a good friend. We talk to him all the time. He's on our streams all the time. He has his own channel, uh, but he was having a fight with Godless Cranium. He was going to bring it in, but he said something about how Godless Cranium said I was crazy or dumb, and I remember hearing that. And I, I was thinking, was that? I mean, I kind of like Godless Cranium, but I, I wonder sometimes, you know, is that a is that a taunt or is that a subtle threat? Um, and, you know, maybe you can tell me if I'm being paranoid, but I'm not so sure. I mean, one of the things we know, not that everybody's guilty of this, but atheists just love smearing people. And some do it for money, right? Some some of what goes on in, so, in the name of so-called skepticism is just, you know, smearing reputations for cash. Um... You know, a real good case in point of that is, uh, a ru and, and this isn't this isn't from anybody in particular. It's just something that floats out of the air of, of so-called skepticism, in general. That somehow I'm abusing my child, and one of the reasons I'm supposedly abusing him is because uh, I, uh, uh, we got him some uh, th therapy called neurofeedback therapy, which uh, drug companies have a you know have paid certain skeptic groups to disparage neurofeedback online and have published a single not very good study claiming that it doesn't do much of anything, uh, ignoring hundreds and hundreds of studies which prove that it does from reputable sources that aren't tied to the drug companies or published anonymously from people who won't answer questions, um, which is what that bogus study saying it doesn't work is. So they spread a rumor that, my, that I've been given my son at weird medical treatments when in fact it's paid for by standard medical insurance prescribed by doctors um, I, I, and, and for the record the boy is you know uh, 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 quite aware that people are making false allegations that his father abuses him he has to be um, and he knows who the people are who are making these false allegations he's, he, he's by the way he's quite bright he is an honor roll student with near perfect attendance, um, and his both his father and his mother and his stepfather and his stepmother are united that any phony claims or any knocks on the door from BS uh, reports to CPS 
will be dealt with appropriately and legally because the child is doing fantastic, thank you very much, and his whole parenting team is behind him. Uh, but of course we had to warn him because we know what false allegations can do. My years in men's rights activism can show me what men's rights activists can do. You spread a rumor that a guy's abusing his child and people will take pokes at him and might even kill him and think they are heroes because you spread a rumor like that. Um, I, I, I seriously had, had hoped when we had our last spat with certain elements in the atheist community, we all agreed to de-escalate. But I have yet to hear an apology for, for spreading the malicious, possibly life-threatening rumor that I abused my child either because you know, I gave him, I, got, I arranged for medical treatment for him that is paid for by standard medical insurance and that is used by the medical systems all over Europe, paid by, for by the government. The government pays for it in Australia too. It's standard medical stuff, you dolts, phony rumor spreaders. Or that I'm abusing my child somehow because I armor him by teaching him to defend himself from atheist bullies. Well, I'm sorry, tell me why that would be wrong. We've got It's Not Emmy running around on the internet. Um, when she started, she was about my son's age, um, spreading all kinds of anti-Christian filth, calling it brainwashing, calling it evil, calling it deluded. I think that child is being abused. Um, I think my child is being taught to defend himself from bullies that he might encounter in the real world like It's Not Emmy who will lie to him and say ridiculous garbage like there's no evidence for God because that's always a lie. Uh, the Bible's been disproven because that's always a lie. Um, um, religion is dangerous because that's provably a lie and bigoted and malicious. Um, in fact, most of what that girl says is no different than uh, a lot of Nazi propaganda about Jews. Um, nobody's saying boo in the atheist community about that. But I, I put up a video where I'm humorously telling my son that, you know, you should not hate atheists, but don't trust them if they lie and say things like, there's no evidence for God, which is always a lie, I will repeat. Um, uh, I, I, and, and any of that other garbage they like to say. I'm sorry, I'm teaching my son to defend himself from atheist bullies. Tell me why I'm wrong. And instead, what all these people do is they spread the malicious rumor that I'm abusing my child. Now, I'm not accusing Godless Cranium of spreading that rumor. Um, um, but on the other hand, he knows people in that community. And I, I, I really got to wonder, how bad do they have it in for me? Just that I've challenged them so hard. Um, because I've wanted to back off and back down. But what I notice is there's no tamping down of the rhetoric. And there's rarely any apologies. Spreading filthy rumors that I abuse my child. Do you know what that does? I mean, that gets around on the internet. Total strangers might approach me or see me and accuse me of that, which everybody in that community well knows, and they've got no shred of proof for it whatsoever. So now a whole family is terrorized. We're on the lookout because we know false allegations. I've done it. I've done men's rights activist work and I've tried to help people who weathered false rape allegations, false sexual abuse allegations, false allegations of child abuse. I've dealt with multiple cases of it. And I've con I'm connected to a number of groups that document abuse by CPS due to false allegations. Um, um, and I know that's a game that people play. I'm sorry I'm continuing to rant, but it's, it's really gotten to me. It's like, he's crazy or stupid. That could be taken to mean, you know, just an insult, or it could be making to mean, look, there, you know, I know other people who've been done horrible dirt by the atheist, skeptic, rationalist community. T.J. Kirk threatened to break my jaw, um, um, and he's you know from he's got a reputation. Um, uh, at what point? I mean, I understand, and I guess I'll segue out of this. Um, I know that our friend, comrade Dimitri Robert, is supposed to be coming in. I understand that Tim O'Neill, one of the uh, he doesn't like us, but he doesn't have to. He's still one of the, the few somewhat rational, at least honorable voices in the atheist community who calls them out for their bad history. Because I am sick of having bad history. I mean, if I would just thank Tim O'Neill for anything, I would just thank him for that because I am sick of being abused as a Catholic by people from the atheist community. I know in one of our early contacts, I told him I thought of atheists as bullies, as horrible bullies. Yeah, that's because that is my typical experience with them now. And I say that as a former atheist. That is my most common experience by far. And that was long before 
escaping atheism even started, and I was just trying to be friendly and get along. Um, um, and, and Tim O'Neill's trashed us since then, and he can, but I want to know, is he w willing to be the voice in the atheist community who says, hey, you can actually cause violence to be done to people just by spreading this so-called humorous, satirical, false info. Um, I know people who've been physically assaulted for being Catholic. Catholics are one of the most targeted groups for hate crimes in the United States. i got people on my team who've experienced it. Plural. And I hear nothing. And it almost always stems from phony history. Um, uh, 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 or, or the inflated claims of the, 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 the sex abuse scandal. But it's usually coming out of phony history. And uh, uh, the abuse I've taken as an adult man, and that I have, you know, seen visited upon my child um, by, 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 by creeps who just mock and smear and say lies like there's no evidence and compares it to fairy tales. I'm sorry, that's abuse. Especially because it's not true. It's not funny, it's not brave, and it's not true. Um, uh, it's sickening that nobody in the atheist community will own up to any of this. Let me just, uh, I don't know. Somebody else talk. How you been deflating atheism? Oh, all right. Did you get started on this when a bunch of atheist thugs more or less mugged you online? I mean, uh, seriously. Th thankfully, there, there's only been a, a one accost thing in real life, and it was not physical. It was verbal. But uh, uh, I think this kind of ties into what we were talking about before, before we went live, because I, I was describing to Max how I think the reason uh, online atheism has lost a, a bit of momentum, especially in the past two or three years, is because I think the extremist atheists have kind of been siphoned off in, into other extremist movements, whether, whether it's the alt-right or the incels or whatever. But I think they all share a kind of a, a similar psychology. So uh, uh, basically the uh, recipe for disaster, if you're this insular group, especially when you're an insular group, who, who kind of uh, uh, congregates online, is, is to basically convince yourselves that you are the superiors and everyone else is stupid. Once you do that, you've established your bubble, uh, you've basically sealed off the outside world. And then once you're in that bubble, uh, it just becomes like a competition to see who can be the most extreme in their views. So there's no moderating force at, at that point. So uh, if, when people are trying to assume kind of like, I'll call it leadership position, even though sometimes it's just like a thought leadership position. Right. But when people are kind of uh, uh, going for the leader position, uh, uh, it, it becomes a competition to see who can be the most paranoid, who can be the most hysterical, who can be the most extreme in their views. And when it comes right. to demonizing uh, uh, religious believers – then all of a sudden, it's religious believers are, are, are wrong for everything that's wrong in history. Uh, they are, you know, suppressing scientific and technological progress. And they uh, elevate the rhetoric to such a point where, where it becomes incumbent upon them to stop the religious people, to harass the religious people, basically, and to uh, uh, beat them back, basically. So, uh, yeah, that, that's what I think we've seen in operation is a group of people have convinced themselves that they're superior oh. and, and have locked themselves off, and then it just becomes a race to see who who can shit-talk uh, religious believers the most. And we live uh, in we live uh, rather comfy lives in the first world, but, but there's always the possibility that this rhetoric is going to have some very ill consequences in the future, as it has for every uh, atheist, uh, uh, basically, every atheist... Society in the past basically has has gone to persecuting religious believers, and you don't have to go very far on the internet to see uh, uh, atheists advocating shutting down by force uh, religious schools by banning uh, religious instructions from from parents to to children, and even in the more extreme instances, we've showed this before in the channel, uh, atheists advocating killing religious believers for their beliefs, as has happened hundreds of thousands of times in the past. So this is not a, a fantasy. It can, it's yeah, a very I'm real possibility in the future. I'm sick of but this was uh, a comment on, on the Atheist Republic Facebook page that got dozens of likes that religious believers should be murdered for their beliefs. 
So we are noticing this. I, you That's know, you I mean. should you should grab a, grab us. Could you find that? Not necessarily right now, but could you find that soon? Screenshot us for us, assuming they. I I, 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 I screenshot it, so it's somewhere on my hard drive. Yeah. Please, please do find it, and because I want to bring that up, because I want to bring that into another podcast. I want to don't don't want to do it now, but please, I want to do one just about that because every time more than, we've seen at least a couple of incidents now where the the it was like the press and the atheist people all scrambled. When there was a mass shooter, and then more than once we would go and see, oh look, uh, this person was a was a reader of Atheist Republic, and they shot up a church. Um, it, yes. It's not getting and atheists will scramble to scream that the atheism had nothing to do with it. B.S. Not if they were hanging out on your forums where you publish hate propaganda. I, I really do wonder. I mean, one of the reasons I'm so livid with some of the atheists, like. I actually feel better. I, I like Bionic Dance and Caitlin Klo better than I like some of the smarter atheists I've talked to over there among, among the, the YouTube Atheist Collective because the smarter ones um, pretty obviously know they're full of crap and just have no conscience, are sociopaths, or malignant. Um, I, and I don't even know if some might be blackmailed because it is kind of this, this little network and they, they ought to let it go, man. Um, there are many other ways to make money online. Well, it's, it's very easy to, to rise to a prominent position within the atheist community. It you is, but you know what? And then you become... And, age gold and then you know what happens is that you become top atheist, and uh, every, every, every lower-level atheist is gunning for you. Plus, you eventually start to realize, basically, there is nothing to the atheism, because no. there isn't. And uh, defeat religion just will, you know, unless you're really going to get hardcore and start killing people, which apparently some on the fringe will, um, there's nowhere else to go. And just shut religious people out of your life and hate them forever. Because they won't go away. Have you not noticed yet? They won't go away ever. Um, and at, at what point is just crapping on people? All the time. What good do you think you're going to do? Some of them, I yeah. think, get a conscience and just quit, like Friend did. Although I bet Friend did is still too afraid to talk to me because I mean I don't think he wants to talk to me because he'll get hated on just for being just for talking to me publicly, even though I've pledged to try and be nicer these days. And I am being nicer. I'm being blunt. I'm just not yelling as much. I'm not swearing as much. I'm still being blunt though because this matters. I know people who've been hurt. I've been hurt. I've known other people who've been hurt. All coming from fake stuff, bad history and bad science that comes out of atheism. And I mean it comes out of organized capital A atheism, the forums, the networks, the people where you all get together and meet and plan strategies for the movement that isn't a movement. <laughs> <laughs> for the belief that's not a belief, yes. For the belief that's not a belief. Um, I'm serious, that's man. How can anybody not see that it's a cult? I'm sorry to call it a cult, but I don't mean every atheist is in a cult. I mean, but just look at the group behavior. And yes, what I think happens is eventually you, you get to be top atheist, and you either become a bitter, cynical, nasty old man like Bill Maher, who's rich, so maybe that's the kind of bitter, nasty old man you. That's want another to be. discussion we can. Have. Or, or you turn into a, new, or you turn into T.J. Kirk, or 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 or, or, or Bionic Dance. There's your big future, or you turn into P.Z. Myers. The, the overblown Kirk community, Kirk. who, by the way, P.Z. Myers is an overblown, who amounts to no more than a community science co biology teacher. I mean, really, my, my high school biology teacher was as qualified as P.C. Myers is. Um, uh, I don't know why he's considered all that hot. Um, now, now that now that uh, uh, Stephen Hawking has died, there are no really no atheists of any tremendous scientific accomplishment in, in the sphere of public atheism. No. There, well, there is and, one. And, and Hawking, Richard by the way... Is, Right. Richard Dawkins has not been a research scientist in 40 years. He was only ever really a science popularizer. What's, what, no, no, not true. He's a proven pseudoscientist. Um, yeah, he's, he's done yeah, his best to, he has, no, he has done his best to kind of erase this memory, but he forwarded mimetic theory. Yeah. Um, the, uh, yeah, yeah I think so religion was religion forever. And, 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 the, the, the idea that religion was my, a mind virus, and he purported to do studies on it and, 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 and papers on it, and he had a research journal on it that ran more than like 20 years or so. And then eventually they just ended it saying, we just basically can't find any evidence that it's true. Yeah. 
and he withdrew it, but it continues to be popularized. So he's directly responsible for pseudoscience. And in terms of evolutionary biology, he hasn't done anything useful in 40 years. Um, and he's dead wrong. Selfish gene is wrong. So that's yeah. two levels. Selfish gene is dead wrong. It's not even wrong. It's not science. Selfish gene is just garbage. Um, evolution does not work on, evolution, on selfish gene principles. It does not. And, and so people, he miseducates people on science, and he's responsible for a pseudoscientific, hateful, bigoted myth that makes people afraid that if you're near a religious man, you'll get his cooties, you'll get a mind virus. It's hideous what an evil man Richard Dawkins really is, and I'm not going to pull any punches. He's evil. He's a pseudo can, 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 I, can I point this out too? Something that was apparent to me uh, uh, from the obvious, from the uh, uh, outset, is that uh, if you believe that religious people, and and you see this kind of mentality, uh, uh, kind of echoed in diluted forms among uh, atheists who say your your religious people are brainwashed, you know, they're indoctrinated. But if if you believe that your that your neighbor who who has different beliefs than you uh, is not actually a, a conscious agent does not uh, uh, have differing opinions merely because he uses reasoning processes to arrive <laughs> at a conclusion that's different from yours, but that he is merely uh, the passive host of a mind virus. Uh, how can you acknowledge him a, a, as an equal participant in the democratic process? Are are you going to say that his vote counts as much as yours when he is the Passive host of a malignant of a malignant mind virus. No, you're going to say you know, they do not. less than yours. In fact, what so is this? it is what they do fundamentally not anti democratic. Oh yeah, exactly. and, uh, go ahead, Albrecht. What I was going to say that selfish gene is basically Lysenkoism on the genetic level. It, it, I yeah, mean, actually, really. huh? Yeah. And, and atheists were uh, always advanced pseudoscience. They they advanced pseudoscience with Lysenko. They advanced uh, in the USSR. They advanced science by by opposing the Big Bang theory because they thought it made too great a concession to uh, biblical creation. Yeah, they opposed it, uh, and then they then then all of a sudden did a, the flip side and claimed it as their own. Yes, you know. and and you. <laughs> yes, you you'll always see atheists pull out uh, Ernst Tackles. Uh, 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 Little diagrams that have been discredited for a hundred years. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but I mean, really, I sit there and think, you know, am I under threat? You know, am I under threat from these people? I've always worried about that too. I think all of us are, but I think there's less and less reason to believe that. I want to put it out there openly. I'm still willing to be friends with people who are atheists, but only if you stop the viciousness. And the lies and the contemptuousness and the sneering and the condescension and the psychoanalyzing and just be human and be people you disagree with and just get along. Because really, that's what's at the root of this whole keep the religion out of politics. It's yes. a way of telling religious people they have to be shut up and their opinions don't count. It is privileging yourself as the elitist. And what's funny is what you then get into is an argument among the atheists who have declared themselves the superior class because they are more rational than the rest of us. Someone send this to Shannon and ask for her for her opinion on this. They've declared themselves the class of rational human beings above us. Um, they will be allowed to make our opinions go away or be excluded from public policy or lawmaking. We will not be allowed to construct communities that are commensurate with our values, and we will not be allowed to raise our children with what we believe is true. We will have to be believing what they, the atheists, think is true. And then what I think will happen is you will get a race to see which atheist who fancies himself the brightest genius will bring us the communist or race realist or libertarian anarchist utopian of his dreams. Because yes. Uh, uh, because you've already dehumanized the rest of the or human liberalist. population. Huh? Or liberalist if you're Sargon. Or a liberalist if you're Sargon. Hey, ask Sargon to comment on this. I, I hear he's been over at Great Debate lately. Uh, I, he, the man is too much of a coward to acknowledge me in any way. He knows yeah. he's, he has, he's been more than unfair to me in the past. I'm willing they're, to let they're, bygones they're just... be bygones. I'm willing to let bygones be bygones with anybody who asks me for it, by the way. It's why I bygones with Jimmy Medicare. But, um, and I'd give them to Sargon, but, I, but he's never had the courage to answer me. Why should religious men not view he, Sargon, as a, of a cod as a potential oppressor? 
um, to be avoided and to be kept away from our children because he's a bully and a braggart um, who just says all sorts of hateful, nasty, condescending things to religious people, is rude to religious people, um, and apparently, you know, doesn't want us to be able to teach our children what we believe to be true. Um, I would like Targa to tell me why he is not the thought police and why his liberalists are not the thought police. Why should we, why should anybody uh, who thinks that religion is a good and wholesome thing on the, for the most part, because copious science shows that it is, why should we not view him as as much, because I do, I view Sargon and his fans as as much of a threat to me as anybody on the social justice left or the hardcore uh, crazy race realist right. I, I, well, well he is pretends... As liberal, this is just as toxic. Yeah. He, he will pretend... This is toxic that, that without the really solution. Care. And no solution, except, yeah, Sargon has no solution, except to threaten, you know, to joke about killing people for their beliefs. Yeah. Well, they're, 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 we joke about killing people for their atheist beliefs. No, that would make us look bad. Yeah, yeah. There does not seem to be much a, a stable ground for, for truly moderate beliefs on the atheist side. Oh, and that, that's good. why I say... I, I think what what has really uh, taken the steam out of out of atheism is that they've all gotten pulled off into into kind of competing uh, extremist ideologies. When maybe ten years ago, uh, militant atheism was really really the only uh, game in town as as far as that went. But yeah. uh, I, I who was that guy? Cyrus? Uh, when we were having that discussion on on JMD's uh, website the other day, uh, I I was talking to him after after we. We stopped being live, but we continued talking for hours after that. And I, I was nailing him down. I was trying to nail him down for like 20 minutes on this thing when, when he was saying that there should be separation between church and state. And so that uh, people who have religiously informed beliefs, you know, uh, law should not be uh, religiously informed. And I, I kept trying to nail him down on why he thought it should not be and what that would entail in practice. And he did not uh, understand my concern at all when he said, I don't think uh, laws should be based on religious beliefs. I said, hey, you can have that belief, but what are you going to do about it when you say it should not be? And he kept going back, well, if you could provide a religious justification for the belief, but you could also provide some other non-religious, that then it should be allowable. But I kept going back to the point, How but what are you that? going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? You can have that belief that that laws should not be religiously informed, but what are you going to do about it? And I, I kept trying to uh, force him you gotta, uh, it's, to, it's, to answer it's, this question. It's a question they do not like, because inherently yeah. what they're all doing, and all of them do this when they make this ludicrous claim, is privileging themselves as more rational mm -hmm. than other human beings, and privileging themselves as more entitled. Um, and, you know, then they'll try and come back, well, well, do you want to be ruled by Muslims? Do you want to be ruled by Mormons? I'm like, no, but I don't want to be ruled by atheists either because you guys are nasty. Well, you, you have the great, if somewhat, somewhat hyperbolic uh, uh, repost that you'd rather be governed by ISIS than atheists. <laughs> <laughs> Max, Max, Actually, I'm not even sure if that one was me. Because that's <laughs> no, no, we, I, no. They they all keep wanting to deny this, but that Twitter that Twitter account for years was what I mean, like more than a dozen people had legal legitimate access to that, and were encouraged to go in there and shit post. They never wanted to believe that. They kept pretending it was just me being crazy. In fact, then they kept accusing other people on the team of being me on their own accounts because. There's these cool tools you can use to share Twitter accounts. I mean, we had a whole cloud. We eventually lost it, right? But um, And there's still people all over Twitter saying, I am Dean Esme, or accusing people of Dean Esme because of that, because they wanted to isolate it to being all about me. Um, but that's not working anymore. Um, I, I forgot... Uh, well, you do have that whole uh, who is John Galt thing going on. No, but, but, but I, you know, what, yeah, I will <laughs> say, I will say... They really should understand, if they've got old screenshots of me, that could have been from John Baptiste, it could have been from Kathy, um, it could have been from Eve, it could have been from uh, Andrew, it could have been from John Baptiste, it could have been from Justo, it could have been from Michael, um, that I mentioned Kathy, it could have been from one or two other people. By the way, when I mentioned that our, in our Escaping Atheism project, we also had people hanging out in atheist forums all over the place, we did, and do, 
Um, and, and, and we have other projects we work on on the side. We, um, you know, we're still kind of active in watching the atheist phenomenon, and nobody can say that it's not a phenomenon, and that it's not a movement, and that it's not an ideology. It is all those things. And uh, even rational atheists, and they're out there, have reasons to be concerned. Look what happened to Friended when he just tried. Look what happened to Harmful Opinions. Look what happened to, I can't even remember the other guy, but a lot of people, they just come out and say, I don't want to be atheist anymore, or even worse, they used to be atheist, and now they, 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 they start making fun of it, and they get hammered and mistreated. Because the atheist community are cry bullies who cannot take what they dish out. Actually, Godless Cranium can. I think he's the only one who can take what he dishes out. Um, that, that guy, uh, huh? Naked Ape. Naked Ape. Oh, yeah, what happened to Naked was... Ape? Yep, yep, yep. They, oh, oh yeah, God. he made a brilliant video, a brilliant video that got deleted for hate speech. Uh, I downloaded it on my hard drive, so I might Oh, slide that to me. Would you please slide that to me as oh, soon okay, as you get a okay. chance? And find me that other one, too, because, yeah... Yeah, Naked Abe, a really popular YouTuber, censored for daring, for having the audacity to go off the reservation, didn't become Christian or anything, just said, I'm sick of you atheists. Atheists are the ultimate cry bullies who can't take it. Even when somebody doesn't become Christian, because you know they mostly hate Christians, they lose their minds. Because their whole movement was based on shit talking and making fun of people. Once they get it thrown at them, they go they go the total triggered SJW route. They all do. <laughs> they cannot take a joke about themselves. I found that out the hard way. That is actually why I escalated the rhetoric. Now, I've been working on de-escalating it. Maybe I need to work harder on it because I really am willing to get to know people who are atheists who don't want to destroy and abuse me and my family and my child. It's, it's, um, like, it's like the carbon rod going into a nuclear reactor. You just have to keep regulating it. You know? There you go. Exactly. The carbon rod just keeps it. That's right. Put on some more coolant, you know, give it a few yeah. days. And, you know, it takes time. to so it's like it Chernobyl. That's right. We don't want, we don't want to crack the course. So we've got to bring it down. I am bringing it down. but And I do have ideas. I mean, I think some of these people could make better money elsewhere. I mean, they'd probably take a short revenue hit. <laughs> but uh, long term... Uh, because, yeah, this gig's got to suck. I, I, I can name three or four. I'm not going to name them publicly because I don't want them to get shamed, but I can think of three or four that I think really wish they could get out of this gig. They just can't figure out how. Because, yeah, it's up or out, kids. You, you either go on the, you know, the, the, the bionic dance uh, TJ Kirk freight train, and, and, you know, there's where you're gunning for, or you can go into crazy race realism or crazy communism, total SJWism. Or Sargon. Uh, or, well, you could just do whatever the hell Sargon is does. He has no ideas, but he knows that or everybody Kraut. else's ideas are sucked. Yeah. Or you could go act like Kraut and T. Yeah, by the way, I don't, think Sargon, I don't think Sargon deserves to win his uh, his libel suit. I really don't. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to talk to him about it. I think he's too much of a coward to talk to me. Because uh, he's exactly like Steve Shives. Um, but let's see. I put. It, you know, I, I just put this out there. Anybody who would tweet this at them or send it to them, uh, I would appreciate it. I'm not even going to go bother. Uh, I've messaged all these people before and only gotten rudeness out of them. So if other people would send it to them and let them know I'm talking about them, I'd appreciate it. Other than that, I don't know. I guess I should just stop issuing challenges. But <clears throat> well, well, Sargon's whole posture is that he's 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 finds the whole thing silly and he's just too good for it and he's not even going to mention it until he does and then you realize the true extremity of his beliefs. Which is condescending, bigoted, off-putting, arrogant, and by the way, dangerously deluded. I guess um, he, he does really care about religion. Do not do not uh, uh, buy into his uh, faux insouciance about it. He does dearly care about religion, and he does have extreme beliefs about it. Yeah, I don't know if I ever did literally say that I, I would rather be ruled by ISIS. Um, um, I might have said that in a, in, in a, in a moment of hyperbole, but I might not have. Because again, oh, that was that point I was making earlier. No, no, no. Our Twitter account and some of our other social media accounts, more than a dozen people, all encouraged to go full on retard shit poster mode. Um, bananas. They were all encouraged to do it and, and to push the envelope and be as funny and sarcastic and, and rude and TJ Kirk like as possible. Now, it made us unpopular, but at this point, really, they're all Dean Esme, as is everybody else on here. 
Um, you know, in fact, I'd actually say that the project has go has gone spectacular. I didn't make any money, um, but uh, I, I meta you know, it's metastatized, guys. It's like Dean Esme's the cancer. It's already spread. Even if you take me out, too late. There's too many other people doing it now. Um, because people are tired of atheist BS. Atheists who just want to be left alone. You know who's a smart atheist? I'll ca call him out again. Coach Red Pill. Um, still an atheist, last I checked. Oh, yeah. But I, you know what? I've noticed he hangs out with Catholics. He hangs out with uh, Protestants. He right, hangs out with people who just like talking about religion because they're curious about it. Not, they're not particularly religious. Um, uh, he'll chat with me now and then. I haven't been on his stream. He ought to invite me, but maybe that would be... I, I don't think I'll be getting invited to any of his parties. Uh, yeah, he keeps telling me he'll be on, but I think he's still afraid to, because really, he'll get... He know, I, I, I'm not going to say he that I, he's told me this, but I know that he knows if he ever had me on his show, he would be bullied and pilloried and shunned. Um, and, and by the way, notice how that shunning behavior comes out of the atheist skeptic rationalists, and that shunning behavior is exactly like Jehovah's Witness shun ex-members. Uh, in fact, I, I want to I want to bring that up to. Isn't there an XJW who's an atheist YouTuber now? Uh, I, Who? I, I, I'm gonna I can't remember. There's an ex Jehovah's Witness. Lisa Green? Huh? I, I think I no. Think oh, sorry. Lisa Green, Green was ex Mormon. Sorry. Yeah. No. No. I, I think I should find him because I want to challenge him because uh, I contend that if you join atheism. Uh, they will treat you exactly like Jehovah's Witness treat you, maybe worse, if you try to leave. Yeah, there's many SJWs. Steve Shive, Sean and Jenner, H-Bomber guy, all of them. <laughs> I'll repeat it. Oh, yeah. The atheists will treat you. The atheists will shut yeah, okay. you, mistreat you, uh, exactly as Je Jehovah's Witness will do, and as Mormons are often accused of doing. That is what atheists will do with you if you try to leave. Um, and, you know, in some cases, I've got firsthand reports of worse than that and, you know, threats to go after them and get them fired from their jobs or go after their kids. Um, uh, when I say it's a cult network, I know not everybody is in a cult network, but at some point, a lot of you guys ought to look around and say, who am I actually with and what am I doing? And, and, and how did I get off on this atheist thing so bad that I'm willing to, like, hurt people who want to leave? that I'm willing to smear people, that I'm willing to laugh and, and, and spread a reputation that somebody's, you know, hates gays or, or is a child abuser. I'm going to just spread that rumor about him and laugh and think it's funny. And if something happens to him, hey, it's not my fault. I spread all these horrible rumors about him that aren't true. But, and and uh, it should be pointed out that that apostate ex-atheist like, like, uh, 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 like Max Colbe or, or, or Brett Keane uh, always get it worse. Than, than, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Brett always Keen. get it worse than Brett regular Keen. Christians. I'll tell you what. I've heard a few people say Brett Keane asked for it. No. No, he didn't. Because no matter what Brett Keane did that was wrong, hell, no matter what I did that was wrong, because maybe, you know, I've gotten too dyspeptic uh, or I let someone on the team go too far and didn't hold them back um, or I yelled too much or I swore too much or I bit off the head of somebody who was just trying to be friendly. Uh, any of those things could happen, and I, I do apologize for them. But at the same time, compare that to what is so common for capital A identitarian atheist behavior. Um, uh, and I'm getting no, you, nobody's, you know, where's the person in the atheist community saying, stop that, I condemn that, I condemn that, I condemn that. Because you know what? You'd have a full-time job on your hands. Um, because there's hey, a lot of really crap behavior out of these people. Yeah. Hey Max. Yeah. I just got back. Um, mm. I just got done listening to the non sequitur show. Oh, with, with their interview with Tim O'Neill. Yeah, I, my last. Yeah, finally it, ended. It was negative, so I don't want to argue with him. I still admire him for trying to be truthful. How'd it go? It was excellent. I thought it was really excellent. Both Steve and Kyle were very open minded. So I, I only got through it like I only arrived at like halfway through it, but like, but like the other half, you know, they talked about. The um, science in the Middle Ages, and they talked about the Jesus myth as his theory, and they talked about the um, the Hitler's Pope myth. Well, I would assume I would assume well, that uh, makes me uh, feel good. That makes me feel good. And you know what? 
if he could do it and I couldn't, that's fine. Because I really do appreciate when people talk about that. Um, yeah, well, well, I'm gonna... uh, an honorable atheist will not repeat a known lie. But I mean, it's like, how many of them are honorable? Exactly. Yeah, and he uh, recommended uh, um, that book I always love, um, Church of Spies, The Pope's Secret War by Mark Reibling. That's a great book. That. I was like, yes! <laughs> a great what was book. that again? Even Sam Harris admitted huh? that was a good book. Even Sam Harris yeah. had to admit that was a good book. And, and, you know, so Say I, the name and author again, please. Yeah. And so, oh, and, Mark Reibling? And the, and the title of the book? The Church Myth of, of Spies, The Pope's Secret War Against Hitler. Okay. Uh, the Pope's... I'll, I'll Google it up. Yeah, you bring it up, Max. All, all the audience is looking at is me right now, so... I don't actually even know if they can see... I'm going to have to say a few things about this, Max. I don't know how to, uh... I don't know how to, um... Uh... Here they... I don't know how to make video happen. Maybe someone will help me figure that out. But, uh, I mean, the, the video that we're streaming here. I can make my video... This is General happen. Akbar. It's anyway, drama. Church of Spies, The Pope's Secret War Against Hitler, which you can buy from any reputable bookseller. <laughs> I'm Mark Leibling. Um, another one I often recommend is The Myth of Hitler's Pope by Raven, uh, Myth of Hitler's Pope by Rabbi David G. Galen. Um, uh, Pope Pius XII and His Secret War Against Nazi Germany. This written by a Jewish rabbi. Um, because honestly, and I will say this, although there are of course anti-Catholic Jews, um, a lot of Jews, especially religiously observant Orthodox Jews, not all of them, there are exceptions, but a lot of them, including Orthodox Jewish friends of mine will tell you, they have a deep respect for Catholicism and the Catholic Church, even if they think it's wrong, they, they have a real respect for it. And a lot of it has to do, some of it has to do with the strong Catholic intellectual tradition, which they recognize is very strong. And a lot of it has to do with how much the Pope actually did to save Jewish lives and protect Jews during World War II, which was an enormous amount. And then afterwards, uh, John Paul the Great, St. John Paul the Great, John Paul II, the Pope who died about 10 years ago, 15 years ago, something like that, the one who was Pope forever made huge strides because when he grew up in Warsaw, he had a Jewish friend who he was very close to, um, uh, and they fought the Nazis. You know, they were against the Nazis together, and then he saw what happened with the communists in Poland, and blah blah blah. But he went out of his way to, you know, get good relations with with Jews. Not to say, you know, they shouldn't come to Christ, but rather, it's just not acceptable to hate Jews, we should never allow Jews to be persecuted, you know, and so there's been so much to repair, you know, to, I mean, there have been bad periods of history, but World War II is not one of them. World War II is actually where the Catholics shone. Uh, the Catholic Church excommunicated the Nazis in the early 30s. All Nazis. Hitler hated the Nazis. Yeah, yeah, there was even a case where, there was even a case where an SS officer who went to, who went to mass in his SS uniform he was instantly thrown out of the church. His name was um, Leon de Graal. He was a Belgian Nazi. And, and the, uh, oh, and yeah, the Rexist dude. The Nazis excommunicated uh, the Catholics, too, essentially. Well, no, yeah, I meant the yeah. Catholics excommunicated. Yeah, the Catholic Church excommunicated the Nazis like 10 years before the Holocaust really started. You, If you were a Nazi, you were, you were barred from taking communion in any Catholic church. At the time, Mussolini, despite the myths about the supposed special treatment, Mussolini was always viciously persecuting the church. And Mussolini was a militant atheist, by the way, during his persecution of the Catholic Church. Um, and it, it, it sickens me that people in the atheist community do not have the conscience to say, listen, this is not okay. Stop repeating things you know are not true. Yet I keep way, hearing the, these things that are not true. What? The, well, that's why I'm glad. Hitler's Pope myth got its origin with, can I get a drum roll here, please? Yeah, you stole my, I was going to say that, deflated. <laughs> well, I'm not a communist. I don't care if you're repeating communist propaganda. You're pro repeating communist propaganda. It don't matter where you got it, whether you're a communist, if you repeated it. You still repeat it. That's where you got it from because it's a lie. Dumbass. Everyone, Matt, everyone I'm going to say Google. a few things. Go ahead, Albrecht. Google. Albrecht's Filipino, but he's also Catholic. Go ahead. You've, you've been waiting to say something. Yeah. First of all, 
a lot of this whole separation of church and state thing along with the atheist movement, it also happens out here in the Philippines. A lot of people have this very, very outdated idea that the Philippines is some Catholic paradise. The Catholics here have had to deal with the same atheistic, anti-theistic stupidity as the rest of the world has to. In fact, we have our own special atheist group called the Filipino Freethinkers. And these people are just as annoying at best as the social media movement atheists are in the West. Now let me pull something yeah. out here. I don't do this too often because I'm always afraid to put the chat online lest somebody accuse us. But look at this. Three downvotes, right? Um, what have we done to yeah. deserve a downvote? Exactly, except complained about legitimate grievances. We haven't, I mean, really. Uh, furthermore, one of those was, of course, before we started. Um, and, and, and it's like, and that's been, and see, I'm not actually whining about it. I'm pointing out that's actually been true of every show pretty much we've ever done. We have downvotes on it before we go live or within seconds of going live. And at some, at some point, someone just ought to point out again to the Atheist Collective, that just makes you look retarded. Like, really, I say it again, um, you know, Jesus loves your atheist downvotes. Every time you send us a downvote, um, and, 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 well, uh, angels don't get their wings technically, but um, uh, every time you give us an, uh, an atheist downvote. An, an atheist loses his fedora, yeah. An atheist loses his fedora, <laughs> yeah. I mean, bring them, bring me, I mean, when we started, it would be dozens. And by the way, new new, new ones who challenge Good one deflating. Are, and it's like, at some point, do you guys not realize how juvenile you seem? And that there really are intelligent, learned people who just think you're wrong and that maybe you ought to at least be able to get along with them? That if there's a religious person who shares values... Do that where downvoting people can silence them? If there's a religious person who shares values with them, with you, shouldn't you want to, like, get along with them and work on shared issues with them? It's sick and demented, the, you know, whoa, kill religion, kill religion. I don't care what you're, I, I care, but I mean, I don't, uh, anybody I, 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 should be able to have friends of multiple religions or no religion at all. You should be able to do that if you're sane. Speaking I, of false history, I have one for you. Go ahead. I look, okay, in the Philippines, there are atheists who claim that the, that the Pope either condoned or promoted the abuses of the Filipino people done by the Spaniards. I've actually heard this a lot in school, from schoolmates. Now, I did some research and I discovered a few things. First of all, the Pope was actually opposed to it. In fact, Pope Gregory XIV wrote a decree in 1591 called Bula Cum Sicuti, telling the Spaniards to stop oppressing my people and give reparations to them. Right, that's the thing. Um, people people assume that because the Spanish Empire was nominally Catholic, therefore you know they they invaded and did everything in the name of Catholicism. And the reality is, yeah. no. Um, they one thing about European society is that a lot of these empires and realms they could do whatever they want. They had a lot of, a lot of um, their own say in political matters. So so when the Spanish Empire invaded the Americas and the in the Philippines, yeah, they brutally oppressed the people you know, despite what the Catholic Church said. Even though they, you know, exactly. they were normally Catholic themselves. Oh, Second of yeah. all, and this is something I learned from some of my friends, is that the Spanish had a tendency to exile bad priests to their colonies, such as the Philippines. Uh, the Spanish were of the idea that if these people are kept out of the mainland, they can reform in the colonies. In reality, a lot of these bad priests were not disciplined properly. Yeah. I would even have to argue that had the Spanish Inquisition actually did their job in the Philippines, trust me, if the Spanish Inquisition actually did the whole tell the, tell the priests to do their jobs, the Catholic Church in my country would have been light. Yeah, that doesn't mean, that mean they necessarily that have to burn people, but yeah, there should be inquisitions. I mean, I actually do think the church should have an, uh, an active inquisition, because there are bad we do. priests and people. And they, well, well, you know, the inquisition, people will talk about, you know, the whole pedophiles and the church scandal. The inquisition was founded to prevent stuff like that. 
Exactly. Yeah. It was an anti-scandal, anti-abuse measure. That's what the Inquisition ultimately Because then they could watch the priests for any wrongdoing and bring them to justice right. if they are doing any wrongdoing. By the way, I like this this comment by his own tan fanatic. He says, as a religious, religious hedonist, I can't stand atheists. They're worse than any other group in history. Yeah, Zone, I'm not going to tell you that I think hedonism is a good idea, but i got to tell you, I mean, atheists should have noticed this by now. Um, uh, really, I got... Witches can't stand them. Um, uh, I got mo I, got, I got a pagan volunteer on my team. He's been a little quiet lately, but uh, he can't stand them. Uh, we got Jews and Hindus that are on our, on the team now. Actually, uh, can't Buddhist. stand them. Oh, okay. I, I don't know Hold if we have a Buddhist yet, an official Buddhist, but I mean, I'd love to have one. We've we've had friendly interviews with more, even Muslims. Yes, I'm sorry, but we have. At some level, does the atheist community ever get sick of the smell of its own farts? Please, somebody ask, you know, get, get somebody over there to answer it who's an adult. I, I don't even care who. Do you ever get tired of the smell of your own farts and deciding that you're smarter than 90? I mean, really, a recent survey says 90% of, of Americans believe in God. Now, please make your declaration at this point that 90% of Americans are dumber than you and why I'm supposed to believe you're dumber than 90% of Americans. Because i got to tell you, I'm actually statistically smarter than 90% of Americans, if you believe the IQ bullshit. I'm not going to tell you how much higher, but it's certainly above 90%. Um, and uh, I, don't, I, I consider it gross to talk about it, but I'm going to tell you, most of you are not that smart. I've met quite a few people who are smarter than most of the YouTube atheists. I'm sorry. Uh, some of them are quite bright, but most of you aren't. At some point, no, no. at some point, does the arrogance the of the condescension to your fellow man ever strike? They suffer from Dunning Kruger. Yes. Beyond well, the fact that they from Dunning Kruger is apparent from the fact that they plaster the words rational and reason and logic and science over every and organization. Free and gathering and YouTube channel they are associated with. If, if they're so insistent on telling you that they are so sure of their own rationality, that is, uh, in light of the scientifically demonstrated Dunning-Kruger effect, pretty good evidence that they are perhaps the least rational people there are out there. But they plaster that over all of their banners. I, I tell you what, when you mentioned Dunning-Kruger, hey, I had to flash that on just so people know. I, I just mispronounced it and said Stunning-Kruger. But uh, 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 <laughs> but I, when you think about it, when you look at the vast, I mean, I, I'm not even going to try. I'll, I'll even pull in Dunning-Kruger effect is on Rational Wiki, which is a very irrational and stupid thing, by the way, if you ever read it. But the you know, Dunning-Kruger effect, it's basically where um, uh, people believe themselves to be much smarter and more, more competent than they are. Here's one on... Uh, 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 and, and no, 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 they're trying to say that uh, a frickin', uh the president has done in Kruger, well, whatever. Yeah, it's basically when you're um, uh, people who are below average performers in some domains will tend to judge their performance as being above average. Um, and yes, and it's very plain that Dunning-Kruger is, is visible to a stunning degree in much of this community, which makes me wonder, do the smart ones ever look around and go, I'm surrounded by dumbasses. Yeah. Um, um, I'm surrounded by dumbasses and really, in some cases, really mean, bitter people. I mean, well, that was well, really what got me. It really was start well being viciously attacked and smeared by by elements of the atheist community um, without justification um, was what got me thinking. But it it also made me really aware of just how cultish and demented and hateful, frequently quite hateful, the whole atheist community was. And so I got out and went in some others, and then I, I went in and started working with a bunch of other atheists, identitarian atheists, and they said they were different. But then they were using me, and then they turned on me. Yeah. Um, and they were the same. Um, they hated me for being religious, and they simply hated me and used me and abused me and then got rid of me. And I saw them do it to other people. And it's like, what is it that drives atheists and collectives to be so hatefully nasty? It really was the question of why are they so hatefully nasty? When I, I, will, I, I will tell you my theory why is because they, they are, are miserably unhappy with, with their atheist belief system. If, if, if a person goes around constantly clucking about how they are the smartest person and how everyone else is inferior to them, 
Uh, that's a pretty good indication. Would a person who is truly happy and, and confident with themselves do that? No, that, that's the mark of someone who is massively insecure. And by the way, I, I just want to go back to when you were talking about the dumbasses uh, of atheism. I, I don't disagree with you there. But there needs to be a distinction drawn between people who are truly stupid and uh, merely uh, people of mediocre intelligence who have a complete lack of intellectual humility. Uh, you will find that the people of mediocre intelligence who lack intellectual humility will often have like no compunction about, about just sharing their stupid opinion. So they can often appear dumber than the true low IQ person. And, oh, that's uh, a good part. Oh, that I, is an interesting... I, I, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, I, I wasn't sure where you were going there, but like, yeah, sometimes a person who's not that dumb will come off as dumb. Yes. Because they're talking like these people. Oh, yeah. Be because they're talking about shit they don't know about. Now, you will often hear atheists uh, bring up, and yes, there have been uh, scientific studies showing that, that atheists, uh, on whole do have a little bit of an edge uh, in, in the IQ realm, but that little bit there of an edge is on the order of three IQ points. Yeah. So you're not right in the intellectual weight class to be uh, boxing with Thomas well, and also, and, 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 also, and, and, and there, are, there, are factors can, <laughs> there are factors that can explain away the, the measly three points, by the way. Which is, also, that's the, same kind of, that's the same kind of argument that the alt-right uses to try to say that white people are... Superior to the exactly. non exactly, and atheism exactly. correlates with <laughs> the Asians have a higher IQ. Let's pretend atheism yeah. correlates with being white and middle or upper middle class, which all correlates. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Too. Yes, it also correlates heavily with maleness, by the way. Yes, very heavily, and it's not because males are smarter or more logical. I'm sorry, it's not true. They are more likely to be autistic, and autistics are more likely to be atheist. Just so. And you by know. the way, by the way, you will often find atheists pointing <laughs> to a study that shows uh, how national IQ uh, correlates with religiosity. This is drawn from a data set that's like a hundred years old and was yeah. used by a white supremacist. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Wow! And they look down <laughs> on countries like mine because we're because countries like mine are heavily religious or appears yeah. to be. Zoltan, go ahead. oh, go ahead. Sorry, we gotta have him on sometime. I was gonna say Zoltan says, "Yep, I'm more of a pagan myself, but I have more in common with fundamentalist Mormons at this point than atheists." Yeah. Yeah, you get it, man. I'm sorry. I, I actually come out of nerd culture where we would sit around and people with various backgrounds would get along. And atheists just come in and they're like locusts and destroy it. Atheists destroy nerd culture. It's horrible. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Albrecht. I didn't mean to interrupt. A lot of people of a lot of people in my country and elsewhere go all blaming the Catholic Church for my country's problems when in reality my country's problems are not caused by Catholicism. A lot of these people who claim to be rational and objective suddenly drop their objectivity and rationality whenever they talk about religion. They go against confirmation bias, and yet here they are having confirmation biases against the religion of my country, or any other country for that matter. They claim that atheists are smart and they can solve everything, and yet look at what's happened in the West. It's extremely secular, and what's happening? Yeah, in fact, it's I can tell some you. Progressive utopia. I can tell you for a fact that Steven Pinker, in his book where he claimed that secularism was less violent and and had less war and diseases, Steven Pinker can be shown to have, have used completely ludicrously bad scholarship there of the quite kind that would get you thrown out of a history department. I know that's one of the things that Steven Pinker that that Morden Painter observed. Uh, <laughs> I love that. It is, in fact, it is in point of fact, secular societies have been incredibly violent and oppressive, including two gays, by the way. Uh, many secular yeah, societies still are incredibly oppressive to gays and, and, and that, by the way. And I'm sorry. Yeah, my ex. Oh, yeah, my ex girlfriend, she's the daughter of Komaru genocide survivors, so. Yeah. <laughs> you talk to them about secularism, they're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> we prefer our traditional Buddhism. <laughs> I, I, I like when you're trying to get like a trend line out of out of a data set, you just kind of skim the kind of anomalous examples off the top. So yeah, uh, Steven Pinker ha has this trend line of just continuous betterment of humanity. <laughs> but just if you ignore like the Holocaust and Stalin's purges and you know the Cultural Revolution, just ignore all that stuff. Otherwise, revolution. it's a straight line up. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's even if it were true, and it's not, and it's not, it's still carefully chosen metrics. I mean, really, uh, Stephen Stephen Pinkers is and and Michael Shermer are also frauds. Maybe I'm 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 crazy and dumb to say that out loud because those are rich men who might try to hurt me. But hell, at this point, I got members of the atheist community viciously spreading rumors and lies that I abused my child, which could get me physically attacked. And I may want to, you know, I'm just going to remember that. I actually remember if I w if I were physically attacked and hurt or killed or my child were hurt somehow due to these false allegations. Who in this community would say it's my fault? for raising him religious, and I had it coming, or the kid, you know, it's all on me. Because that, that seems to be how this community thinks, rather than thinking, we need to tone down our rhetoric because we've got some real hateful elements among us. Well, if that happened, the they food would food say it was, not, it was not because of atheists. And it wasn't because of anything they said, because they're not responsible for anything they say, even if it's vicious false gossip and rumors and demonstrably false assertions that smear entire populations of people. No, look, they're not responsible the, for any of it. Oh, look at the uh, Sutherland Springs uh, uh, shooting, or look at the guy in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, who shot his, his Muslim neighbors. Immediately they disavowed any sort of connection with, with atheism. Yeah, and, of course, they disavow uh, uh, the Stalinist anti-clerical violence. What would it take for them to acknowledge a causal relation uh, uh, between, between uh, uh, violence committed by an atheist and their atheism? I am a perfectly rational, uh, high IQ man. I, oh, I, I like to rant at people on the internet. Well, ladies, and ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let, 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 me, let me introduce you to TJ Kirk, although I've almost certainly got at least 30 IQ points on that guy. Um, let, let me point you to <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Which might only bring me to like slightly above average. I don't know. But 129, I, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, but, uh, the, 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 what, what, what was I going to say? Um, these people, um, at what point do you just go, I'm, I'm actually sitting here pretending that I'm superior to all other human beings and I'm oppressed because they don't recognize that I'm smarter and wiser and more intelligent than they are. Those bastards. But I mean, it is a narrative designed to perfectly uh, appeal to uh, teenagers who feel disenfranchised and, and who feel underappreciated. And to sociopaths who want to murder people to, uh, you know, uh, get revenge for their crap lives. Um, including, you know, vicious gangs who run around harassing YouTubers for being religious, which still happens. Or for daring to criticize them. I'm sorry, they like to claim that there's roving bands of Christians who act like that. Show them to me. Red Pill Religion is the first one that ever did anything like that. They were still <laughs> never that. The Escaping Atheism Project was the well, first project to ever do anything like where, that. Where that with pride were the, were the first <laughs> We were the first of, ones uh, right, to, be, to be total shit posters and, and, and nasty. And even then, we didn't uh, arrange downvote brigades or, or, or efforts to psych people out at home, threaten their kids. Um, it, it threatened their jobs. Um, uh, it, 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 yeah. Eh, eh. Why can't you just be like, why, why can't you be like nice atheists? Like, uh, like, uh, freaking, uh, I don't know. No, I'm uh, why can't you be like academic atheists? Why can't you be academic agent? Why can't you be just nice like him? Oh, well, he's, yeah, he, he's not mean enough, I guess. Uh, be like Coach Red Pill. These are mature men. Um, yeah, Max, when you were talking they about... They think that being mean is what changes the world. Right. I will give you I, yeah, think, you... I will give you one thing in their credit, though, which is they, they were trained like this, right? I mean, all the comedians when they were young were snotty and nasty and mean about religion and edgy and would clap and everybody would think it would be, you know, edgy and applaud if you're anti-religion. But at some point, you got to grow up and realize, man, I'm, I'm in my 30s and I'm still yeah. mistreating people. That's not funny anymore. I'm not 15. I'm not 20. Twerking off, grandma. I'm I'm hurting. What? You act like you're talking. <laughs> I'm. In fact, that's the thing. When do some of these guys realize I am what I said I hated about religious people? I'm intolerant. Yeah. I'm mean. I'm. Do I, I. I don't allow people to disagree with me. I'm, I'm cruel. I'm. I'm I, they're, they're all these things that they accuse others of being. At what point do they wake up and go, man, I would just rather 
make friends with that Mormon guy. I would rather just make friends with that Catholic. With that, I'll even be so daring. I'll make friends with that Muslim. I know he's not a terrorist and he probably doesn't feel good right now because people have been picking on him. Whatever it is. Why don't I get to know that Hindu and say, well, what is this stuff you believe all about? And even if, if you don't believe it, you know, just sort of say, think, well, I may be the wrong one. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I think it ultimately goes down to the fact that they're fatherless, which is what most of them are. They either had crap fathers or they had no fathers. And young men especially feel the need to prove themselves. Um, and going all atheist and skeptic and snotty is an easy way to prove yourself. But it doesn't last because there's no there there. You have to get something substantive. Um, what you really ought to do is realize there's reasons to believe in the supernatural, the spiritual, and the transcendent. And, by the way, if you want to save Western civilization, you ought to be looking at Christianity again, because that is the religion of the Western civilization. And what you ought to be thinking is not dumb Christians who annoy me think, who are the really smart ones? Who are the Christians who are good at science, at math, at philosophy, at history, uh, who even know how to fight? Who might that be? I might mention the Catholics as one of those, but there's others. I, I'm not here to make you convert to my religion. This isn't a ministry show, but... You'll notice that even people who, who were never really hostile to religion, like, like, like Lauren Southern, are kind of being drawn even further within the kind of red, red pill of, like, Catholicism, uh, you know. R Lauren Southern recently, pill. Lauren recently declared herself a Christian publicly. I didn't know if she'd gone Catholic, but I hope so. Yeah, I, I think it's been incremental. I think it's been incremental. But but uh, you you were mentioning something before. I I, I want to just kind of take this back uh, because you were talking about comedians, and I have I have a video on my channel where uh, it has comedian Jim Jeffries doing a, a comedy routine where basically he advocates the the forcible expulsion of Christians from society to to riotous applause. So I mean, this is this is the kind of uh, rhetoric. This is the kind of propaganda Where was that's, this? Been, that's led to hundreds of thousands of executions, and it's being offered as entertainment. So this should really give us pause for thought. Yeah, there's no uh, reason for us to be nice about it either. There really isn't. No. I'm sick of Christians. A lot of them. So, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just let me finish. But but when a, 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 a shooter goes into a church, and 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 you know, an atheist goes into a church, kills Christians. Well, when when uh, an atheist kills uh, uh, Muslim teenagers or Muslim 20-somethings, and uh, you have this kind of entertainment, and uh, uh, when you have a skyrocketing uh, 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 suicide among Americans, especially among young Americans, especially young, among young males, and you keep hammering home this, this message that there is no God, there is no ultimate right and wrong, there is no judgment, you have uh, no Dan thinking. Harmon... Dan Harmon, uh, behind Rick and Morty, he's putting forward this notion that the idea that there is no God, there is no right and wrong, there is no ultimate value, is, is the intellectually superior position because reasons, uh, those aren't really fleshed out, but it is the, the genius intellectual position, and there's skyrocketing suicide. Should that not make you take a step back? Should that not give you pause for thought? And their, 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 their snotty 12-year-old answer will be, well, well, no, because that's not a good reason to believe in a fantasy. Well, prove your claim that it's a fantasy. Yeah. You're still outnumbered, and we have lots of rational evidence. Quit lying and saying we have no rational evidence. We have lots of rational evidence. Well, that's why I say because reasons, because they're just kind of coasting on, on, this, on this kind of cultural impression that they are somehow the intellectual superior, despite well, the fact that... Despite the fact that atheists are pretty much the only people who will refuse on principle to, to provide evidence for their beliefs. Right. You know, even if you so, ask a young earth creationist, they'll give you evidence and it might not be good evidence, but at least they'll try to convince you. The atheist is the only person who will refuse on principle to, to offer any evidence for their statements. Yeah, yeah. Deflate, going back to the whole – that stupid comedian who said that about uh, Christians and religious people – I was doing research about the whole persecution of Falun Gong in China, and human rights experts estimate that between 1999 and 2016, up to 1.5 million Falun Gong practitioners have been killed by the Chinese regime. 
Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I'm, yeah, that's not fun. As a, you, as a Christian, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to bring up a very dark prospect. I'm going to bring up a very dark prospect, but do you think uh, uh, it might turn that way for Christians in China as well? Yes. Yeah. It could, yeah, it could. Once beat. they run out of Falun Gong practitioners, they're going to look to another group. Uh, yeah. Christianity but is Christians growing. Christians Muslims. Christianity is, is growing by leaps and bounds there, and by current estimates, if the trend continues, uh, there'll be a majority Christian nation by 2050. And uh, it is very possible with that regime that they will decide to wipe out the Christian population. Instead, they've been known to do it again, and there is no reason to think they won't do it again. They've been known to do it before more than once, I might add. They've been known to. Why would they not do it again? And why would we not notice yeah, and ask that question? Um, I, mean, yeah, I recently, recently found out what happened to Tiananmen Square, by the way. Did you guys hear that? That finally came out. You guys remember Tank what? Guy? That famous yeah. image from the late yep. 80s. I saw it on TV myself. A lot of you, maybe you've only seen it on the internet. The, the guy standing down the tank at uh, Tiananmen. Tank Man! Tank Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we didn't see anything and nobody knew what happened to him. Um, the official story was released. Um, uh, everybody at Tiananmen Square, every single person was killed. Uh, in fact, they were rolled over with tanks. Yeah, they did a purge. They, they were rolled over with tanks that came. They were told they had an hour to leave, and then five minutes after they were told they had an hour, tanks running at 40 miles an hour started plowing through the crowd and pretty much just crushed everybody, and then they used bulldozers to do, get rid of the remains. That's what happened, to, that's yeah, what happened to Tank Man and everybody there. That's what the Chinese regime yeah, is like. Oh, by the way, they're an atheist regime, and don't you dare lie and say they're not an atheist regime, you yeah, stupid yeah, Max, liars Max. who claim that atheist regimes are more tolerant. You stinking yeah, liars! Max, um, the whole Tiananmen Square thing, um, British documents reveal that um, they think that now up to 10,000 people were killed in the yes. in the crackdown on the Tiananmen Square massacre. Yes, that's what well, I was just saying, saying about the bulldozers. That was 10,000 people rolled, rolled over with tanks while they were live and screaming and fleeing. They were simply rolled over and mashed, and the tanks backed up over them and stuff like that. That's what happened. They were mashed into a pulp. Took an hour or two, apparently. That's what happened to those 10,000 people. Um, that's what the Yeah, and the Falun Gong practitioners have literally been butchered alive. Yeah, butchered alive happened. has happened to Falun Gong <laughs> practitioners. Why? And that is an atheist regime. Somebody asked Tim O'Neill to publicly deny that it's an atheist regime. Ask Steve McCray to deny that that's an atheist regime. Um, I'll, well, I don't I'll think keep, I'm going to keep Neil issuing Neil. public challenges until somebody gives me a real answer. Friended. I think Friended is terrified to talk to me. Um, if I'm wrong, Friended really ought to talk to me or someone from our team. Because, uh, you know, he recently had a debate where he talked about the anti to the anti-theists who gave basically the Nazi answer. I'd like him to have someone from us on board to talk about whether or not Christians or other religious people should tolerate people like that. Should we tolerate anti-theists or should we wipe anti-theism out of our society? And why shouldn't we? Don't tell me my question is insane. Why shouldn't we? I, I dare anybody at the non sequitur show that's, that supposedly justifies not having me on, anybody at the non sequitur show, to have this conversation with me. I challenge Sargon of Akkad to have this conversation. I challenge Thunderfoot to have this conversation. Who in atheist land? Challenge Kraut and Tito. Who was the guy I gave a hard time to? Who, who maybe they, they said, or what was it on Monday or last week? He came by and he got really mad. Um, uh, well, he was another anti-theist. Uh, any of them, I want them to come have that conversation with me. Because as a former atheist, I left the atheist community because of the disgusting behavior of atheists. And now we listen to atheists, anti-theists, talking exactly like the Chinese regime, talking exactly like Stalin, and yes, by the way, talking like Hitler and Mussolini. Um, or uh, Kim Jong-il. I dare, t t I dare Tim O'Neill, who's condemned us, to tell me I'm off the, off the charts. Uh, somebody have the gall to answer this and, and lose the moral posturing of how I'm such a bad person. Max is such a bad, bad man. His questions should not be entertained. 
Well, you know Tim O'Neill has, has opened himself to, to the invective of atheists. So, which is, so which is shameful. So if he gives himself a higher profile, you know he'll be, he'll be weathering the abuse. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Then so maybe I should apologize for that. Maybe I should apologize for that. You know what? If he wants to say no comment because of that, yeah, that's fine. Because you're right. They will viciously attack him for being an apostate. And that, by the way, I, I would ask the psychologist, the psychology expert, Shannon, to note, you know, what does that look like? Doesn't that look like Jehovah's Witness shunning behavior to you? Um, if someone in the atheist community simply wants to challenge the community on its doctrines and dogmas, they appear to want to excommunicate him, Shannon. Is that okay? How is that different from being a Joe JW? I just want to know. I ain't fucking kidding. I left, I, I, one of the, the main reason I left atheism is because I noticed the cultishness of it, and I figured it had to stop. I didn't know it would still be here, like this horrid monster, more than 10 years later, um, with all these snotty, hateful people. Um, and I'm sick of being told I'm crazy to say it's hateful. No, it's not. Fucking hateful. And you're not 15 years old anymore. I'm, I'm, this is an old man dad rant. You know what it is? None of them have dads. So they don't know what uh, a firm older man sounds like. And they think he sounds insane. Isn't that sad? Yeah. Anyway. A lot of oh, them the have way. really bad role models like George Carlin or Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. Oh, you know God, something's you messed do. up when that is a role model. Yeah, they get these terrible role models. Or even, you know, I like SpongeBob, don't get me wrong, but there's no good role models on SpongeBob, not really. Uh, you know, that's why My Little Pony got so <laughs> popular is because at least My Little Pony got popular with boys because there's no boy stuff with positive role models in it. I think whenever I find a new subscriber to my channel that has a brony uh, 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 thumbnail, I'm just, I'm just going to ban them on site. You know, they're, no, I would, they're not going to contribute. <laughs> okay, I, for the record, I would ban no brony from this site for being a brony. Bronies are welcome here as long as you're not obsessive and 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 constant about it. I'm fine with bronies. Um, uh, my my son went through a brony phase, and because I was a calm adult about it, it lasted about six months, and it was gone. Uh, <laughs> Well, did that, did that coincide with the atheist phase? It was pretty close, actually. Okay, it was there you close, go. Actually, which I also dealt with calmly. Give them atheist books to read. I, you know. Uh, By the way, guys. Yeah. What? What? Oh, I, guys, I, you I'm took just offense. You took offense. I'm sorry. Zoltan, Zoltan yeah. says, "I used to be an atheist just because I thought it was edgy and cool. Now that I don't care for society, I'm pretty much religious for my own mental health." I can see that because really I've gone to the point where I hate society just about. Um, and my religion does keep me mentally sane. It does. By the way, copious science shows that regular prayer is mentally healthy and helps with things like depression and anxiety and insomnia. It does. Science shows prayer works for those things. Um, there's also science uh, showing positive healing benefits, peer-reviewed science, which the atheists will lie to you about and say doesn't exist, but does exist. So yeah, prayer's good for you kids. Um, or they will exaggerate about it. It doesn't really matter. It, it, or they yeah, will it, exaggerate about it saying, oh, just pray the illness away. Yeah, yeah, you know, which which is not, not something that Christians, uh, true, real Christians ever uh, uh, advocated. Ad praying every illness exactly. away. Exactly. No, although praying at every illness is still exactly. a good, God, good idea. Yeah. Uh, Zone 10 says uh, people like Thunderfoot, TJ, Sargon of Akkad, etc. won't ever debate intelligent religious people because they know they won't be able to defeat our arguments. No, they can't. Not a single one. Although I would not say TJ is that. He's, he's smart like a cunning rodent is smart. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. They won't. Um, any of them can be taken apart. And, and challenged on their uh, on on most of what they've based their atheist careers on. And what By the way, we should, we should we should we should note that uh, TJ has fleeced his own followers again and again and again. Oh, uh, he's done it so, more than once, and he just gets away yeah. with it. Um, and he threatens people, and he smears people's reputations, and uh, it, 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 it's ridiculous behavior. Is what it is. Um, uh, hey guys. Yeah. No, I thought crap was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, I, I don't know if you heard, but um, when President Trump—I know this is kind of um, nothing to do with um, what we're talking about right now—but when President Trump met with Kim Jong Un a couple of days ago, he, he he apparently confronted the di the North Korean dictator about the horrendous persecution of Christians in his country, North Korea. 
Yay! All so, right. He glory, also. Glory, hallelujah. We also got we also okay. got some 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 Americans who'd been in detention freed. So yeah, that's been neat. And yeah, okay, ending religious repression. Yeah, I'm looking at an article but from that is something the Obama administration did nothing about. So uh, even if I did, you know, if you don't like Trump, you should still be willing to say thank you, Trump, for speaking out against the repression of Christians. By the way, shouldn't everybody at like the Great Debate Society and and any of those other places? all applaud the end of re religious repression of Christians and condemn the religious repression of Christians. Just like to know if any of them have ever do that. Um, well, so. We don't know what's going to change here in North Korea, so you know we'll have to see. But the article I, I, I'm looking I'm at so, is from... I'm sorry, but the, the anti-Trumpers are, are really... I don't, I don't want to get... I don't want to get too derailed on I, that, I so even if you don't... don't I, I will. Let's just say shortly. It does seem like some people are trying too hard to just not say, "Wow, look, this is great. This is happening." Some people are trying too hard, but I don't want to say a lot more because I don't want to fight. Yeah. If you don't like Trump. You should still I'll, be. I'll, I'll just. I'll just say this: when when people uh, uh, say, "Oh, uh, we get people who pretend like they know a shit about uh, international diplomacy," they're like, "Oh no, we gave Kim Jong Un like legitimacy, and we got nothing out of the deal." First off. Uh, it's not like it's not like uh, Kim Jong Un has in any way been restrained. It's like it's not like now we've given him we we've given him some sort of license to do because he has not been in any way bound uh, uh, up until this point. So you, yeah, he's, uh, he's yeah. been ruler since all, 2011. So all, all of a sudden he's going to get that credit card approved. Yeah. <laughs> we've already gotten three <laughs> three hostages, so it is repulsive. If you say that America has gotten nothing, it is revolting. Try telling that to, to the parents of, of the hostages who have been released. No lie. Also, they're returning the remains from the. They're turning the remains from those American GIs who were killed in the Korean yeah. War. But some people so are, are so back. ideologically committed to anti-Trump, they would tell the parents of, of those GIs that that we're getting nothing. That is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at look at how yeah. ideology has made you a horrible person. Just look oh, at what a horrible person you have become because of your ideology. Abel Cain says, oh, let me mention this, Abel Cain says, some atheists don't like Bart Ehrman because he admits Jesus really existed and they harass him over it. Yes, and Bart Ehrman is either agnostic or atheist, I forget which, but there's... He's, he's agnostic. He's an agnostic. <laughs> But 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 more to the point. I mean, he's not, there's even atheist scholars. They're not as prominent as him, but are, are quite respected to say the same thing that, that that Jesus had to exist. The view that Jesus didn't exist is actually a fringe radical position that that, that nobody takes. By the way, Richard Carrier is not respected by his fellow historians and no. is not really qualified in this area. His PhD in history is not does not qualify him to work on ancient history like this. He's a joke, guys. I'm sorry, yeah. but he is. He's not deserving of any particular respect. Although I could think of new career paths for him if he ever had the guts to contact me. Um, uh, but I was gonna say the the uh, the uh, skeptic guy who was on uh, TMD. Uh, 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 J sorry, JMD. Uh, uh, I, what's his name? Senpei or something? I forget what his name was. But uh, he had a video. He's an atheist, and he had a video like two weeks ago said, like, things atheists should stop saying. And he said, like, arguments you should never use. You know, if God created the world, who created God? Uh, you know, can God, create, can God create a stone so heavy he can't lift it? He said, you should never use it again. Naturally, he got savaged by other atheists in his own comments, saying that these are sacrosanct, that you should, that they're, you know, you know, fail-proof arguments, and that, you know, I said, oh, expect, blasphemy. And, oh, expect by the way, they will accuse you of being a spook for Christians. That and by the way, when you see Christians arguing with each other on YouTube, which is, you know, is starting to happen, you don't see this behavior. You do see them getting mad at them. I mean, like, I still, I'm, I, I can't decide whether I should even acknowledge Reformed Christian apologist again or not. Um, but, uh, you know, at the same time, we don't have group downvote brigades. We don't come in screaming in hordes of people, you know, denouncing people like that. It, it doesn't happen. The worst I've ever seen is it looks like maybe some fringe set of vacantist Catholics, uh, you know, may run little short invasion raids out of a Discord chat room somewhere. But even that's nowhere near. And it's never, nowhere near the level of vitriol either. Uh, the the, mo the most harassment I ever got from other Christians was, was when I posted a, a, an article about Kim Kardashian being Christian. 
Then, then I got ranked over the goals. <laughs> I can see why. I, I don't want to hear the. the I don't want to hear. Yeah, I don't want to hear the lie that it's the same all around because it is not. Um and yeah yeah I can vouch for the city of a contest read man yeah they're a little nuts I'm sorry but they are I love them I I, I but they that they're a little nuts they they're not as nutsy as nutty as uh you know these uh pre these uh fringe Baptist Calvinist you know uh types but they're they're still pretty nuts I right, well should we just uh should we wrap this up we've actually been going an hour and a half does anybody have yeah. anything else they wanted to say they wanted to get out before we quit um one thing i the the name of the article that i was sourcing from is from uganda christian news.com and then the article is titled trump confronts kim jong-un about um geez, about christian persecution in, in north korea that's a that's the title of the article I, I, I don't want to be that guy, but are there any more Western sources for this information? Well, no, see, the thing is, is that a Western source may not carry it because the secular media, all of it, um, with only occasional exception from Fox News, is anti-Christian and does not, follow, does not follow these stories. Um, so I would expect to read this outside the United States. Um, cause Western yeah, there's a lot of non-Western sources. Hostile. I mean, they, I mean, they've they've hidden the genocide of the Coptics completely. Uh, they don't, and, and we don't, and for, for for the entirety of the last until until the last year or two, um, we have not. You know, we've been taking Muslim immigrants, uh, refugees, but not Christian ones. Um, Christians have been being yeah. slaughtered all over the place. Um, nobody's said anything, and so and and our press hasn't said anything. Our press has been dead silent. So no, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, uh, Huh? If a um, European country takes in Christian refugees, it gets attacked by the media. Yeah, definitely. Because they love to call it the fake news media. Yeah. Yeah, but no. deflated. Deflated. Um, there is an article from religionnews.com, which is a Western source, called Press Release, Trump's Bold Talk on North Korean Christians. So it's okay. confirmed, I think. Okay. So you just type, just put the title in the Google search engine, and you'll get a bunch of sources. That's what I do. <laughs> What's it called? Press Release from Trump's? Trump's bold talk on. Well, would you please repeat God, the title, that's... Robert? Please repeat. The, I'm sorry. <laughs> repeat the article title, please. Which one? Press release. Trump's Trump's bold talk on North Korean Christians. Korean Christians. There you go. Okay, there it is on Religion News. See, you have to go to even to Religion News to find out about the vicious repression of Christians in North Korea. Uh, well, thank God for Donald. Donald Trump is like the guy who does it because he doesn't know that he can't. So, so he do, he doesn't know that the things that other people think are impossible. Whatever it so is, really, thank God for Donald Trump. Then, I mean, well, even if you don't like Trump any other way, thank God for this one. Um, because well, really, well, these ads are kind of <laughs> not exactly appropriate uh, for a Christian side, aren't they? But hey, you know, what do you do? It's, yeah, it's this is also breaking news. So maybe it'll maybe we'll get into the mainstream pretty soon here. So. Well, maybe, but probably maybe not because the mainstream news has blockaded news of Christian repression for, for, for the better part of a decade and, and continues to do so. The, the secular news media, Dr. Steve Turley even calls them the secular news media anymore. Yeah. I don't trust the secular news media for anything. The MSM is the secular press, and the secular press hates me and my child, just like the, the, just like the atheist the rational skeptic my- community hates me and my child, apparently. I'm sorry. Well, what? Particularly the, the UK press, I think they they were a shamefully uh, a silent on oh, yeah. the genocide of Christians in the Middle East. But they went ten years saying that Christians are stupid, that Christians are deluded. What are they, are they suddenly supposed to? Oh, now we're supposed to be concerned about the fate of Christians in, in the in the Middle East after they spent ten years insulting Christians. Yeah. Well, you want to know the reason why that is? You want to know the reason why that is? Is because the mainstream media well, they mainstreamed the Arab Spring. The Arab Spring was this, you know, so-called democracy movement in the Middle East, and yeah, reality wasn't. It was, it was basically just a secular Islamic movement. Fashion. Yeah, it seems. To, it seems to yeah. me now that that must have been faked. That Arab Spring thing must have been faked because our social media is way too controlled. Um, um, and so, yeah. Well, you know what? I think we've had enough here. It probably is time to start wrapping it up. I dare anybody to send oh. part of this to any of the people we've mentioned because uh, you know I'm sick of tangling with them. They've had open invitations, open challenges. 
I don't think any of them will stand up and issue a single challenge, but why won't any of them ask the ultimate challenge? Why should we, the non-atheist majority, continue to tolerate abuse from the anti-theists? Why should we tolerate it? Why should we be nice about it? All right, everybody, and that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that question offends you. Why can't you just answer it? Why should we tolerate you? Why shouldn't we be as mean and rude and nasty to you as you are to us? Heck, why shouldn't we even make you illegal? You apparently want to make us illegal, or at least forcibly censor us. All right, everybody, uh, please give us a like. Please give us a subscribe. Please tell your friends or enemies. And see if you can get anybody I mention on this show to take a straightforward challenge. See if you can for me. All right, God bless, everyone. God bless.